Welcome to Talk of the Town. I'm your host, Jessa Jeremiah, and we have a wonderful show for you today. And first, we get to talk to Rachel, who's here from the American Red Cross, and you're here to talk about a very exciting event. So, music on the deck. Sounds like fun. That's all I need to know. It is fun. <laughs> it's intimate. We're on the cusp of all new artists that come out. So you get the chance to meet them, greet them, get pictures taken with them, all before they even hit the big scene. Wonderful. And this comes at an interesting time. So the American Red Cross is gearing up to partner with some other organizations to promote fire preparedness. And this is an important initiative. So talk to us about that a little bit and why this is needed. It's a nationwide initiative. We're going to be partnering with a lot of organizations, our volunteers. Um, and the really, the important thing to know about it is that hopefully at the end of five years, which is the, the sorry, is the time that we've got it set for. Um, hopefully we'll reduce our fire injuries and deaths by about 25% across wow. the board. That's really outstanding. It's pretty amazing, especially since our largest disaster response is home fires, and on average, our region responds to five of those per week. Wow, mm -hmm. that's quite outstanding, really, to think about that statistic. That's Lots of people see it yeah. like on the news, the big hurricanes, tornadoes, and things like that, and they don't they don't know that that silent disaster sure. is just down the street. Wow, there's a lot locally that you guys do. So talk to me a little bit about, I understand that there's three cornerstones to this initiative. So let's talk about those three and, and really what that embodies. Um, the first part is we're going to be doing door-to-door -door canvassing using our volunteers, emergency management partners, and we're going to be going door-to-door -door, talking to people about smoke detectors, making sure we're installing them or that they are installed, checking them, and then talking to them about um, plans and being prepared. The second part is really unique. We're going to be in the schools engaging the youth and talking to them about the science and technology behind fire. And then the third part is we're going to put responsibility back on our community members and ask them to be responsible for their own health and safety and check those smoke detectors, you know, make a plan, be prepared. Very important stuff. And it's neat that you're doing door to door too. So we can expect you on our doorstep potentially. Well, potentially, yes. We have specific targeted areas to start with, but potentially we could be knocking on your door asking you about your smoke detectors and whether you have a plan and how you're prepared. And it helps you kind of gauge where the community is too, as far as, you know, maybe what percentage of awareness there is out there. And I bet you it's probably going to be pretty shocking, I would imagine, because I know that's something that, you know, often gets put on the back burner for people. Absolutely. Lots of people, okay, I cook a lot, I burn things a lot, so my smoke detector might not necessarily always be active. So that's the conversation I have with people. Yeah. Mm -hmm. you know. Important stuff. What do you think are some of the most affected communities in Western Wisconsin as far as some of these dangers that you deal with on a, on a weekly basis? Well, we took our statistics and we pulled the top 10 in our region to start with. So when we start in October with this initiative, we're going to start with those 10. And among them, there's Madison, Monroe, Portage, Marshfield, and Baraboo. Wow, so it's good to know that, and mm -hmm. you're probably going to be then kind of targeting those spots. Exactly. So let's get back to music on the deck mm -hmm. and talk about this event a little bit and how this helps benefit the American Red Cross. It's an amazing, intimate event. Fawn Creek is a super supporter. Um, it starts with a meet and greet at 5 o'clock. We have a concert at 7. And the purpose of it is really to raise awareness of the programs that the Red Cross has. And then there's a second component where it helps to raise some money too. And how can people support the American Red Cross? Is there, a, what's the best way for folks who want to get involved and help out? It's very individualized. You have the option to volunteer your time, to give blood, take a class, be prepared, or make a financial gift. It's, it's really up to the individual. Excellent. And you mentioned a couple ways to get involved. So whether it's volunteering or giving blood or financially, what's the best way for them to find you? Do they go to the website? Do they call? You can call. You can go to the website. You can check us out at Badger Chapter on Facebook. Um, if you go to redcross.org, you can enter in your zip code and be connected to a very local, very near Red Cross building or chapter. Absolutely, and we've sparked some interest now for music on the deck. So, I hope so. Uh, we've got just a, a little bit of time left. Tell us, you know, for folks at home who want to get involved in that specific event, do they go to your website? You know, when is it? How much does it cost? All that kind of stuff. Absolutely. Um, if you'd like to get involved, tickets are twenty dollars donation for an individual ticket or thirty dollars for a pair. There are also our corporate sponsorships available. You can find out more information by visiting our events page on the Badger Chapter Facebook or by giving me a call, and I can help you with. 
further information. Wonderful. So very affordable, and it's obviously going to a very good cause. So thank you so much, Rachel, for you. sharing that event with us and sharing what you're doing for fire prevention. We appreciate your time. I appreciate it. Thank you. All right. Thank you. Well, stick around because we're going to give you some beauty tips coming up right after this.